This is the pasta that should go viral. The cherry tomatoes and mascarpone pasta. Watch this and make it go crazy worldwide. Come on, let's bring happiness into your belly. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to make delicious Italian food in your kitchen. This is a cherry tomato pasta with a special ingredient of mine to make it nice and creamy. This is what you need when you want to make a 10 minutes meal. 10 minutes meal, that's what it takes. So let's make it together. Come on guys. We need very simple ingredients for this recipe. First, most important ingredient, the cherry tomatoes. Please try to pick the best cherry tomatoes that you can get. You know, you want nice cherry tomatoes. It's the main ingredients. Then we want two cloves of garlic. I use one clove of garlic per person and I'm making pasta for two people. A nice bunch of basil, pecorino cheese, mascarpone cheese, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and the pasta. You can pick any pasta that you want. Today I chose Caserecce. First thing we need to do is to get those cherry tomatoes off the vine here. Now if you ask me how much cherry tomatoes you should use, let's say you go to the shop guys and you buy one of those uh, containers you know with cherry tomatoes, maybe just use one. If you want to use two you're very generous. So what we're going to do here is we are going to cut each cherry tomato in half, okay? Now it's time to cook those beautiful sexy tomatoes. So basically they take the same amount that the pasta takes. So you can actually cook the pasta right now at the same time. So basically when the pasta is ready you just put it together with your cherry tomatoes. But I recommend you start cooking the tomatoes and then halfway the cooking, we start boiling the pasta, simply because I don't want you to have the pasta ready and the sauce is not ready yet, just in case something happens, okay? What we're gonna do, on a medium heat, we're gonna add a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, let's say four or five tablespoons, simply because extra virgin olive oil and cherry tomatoes, they love each other. Put the cherry tomatoes in, beautiful. They're gonna create a beautiful juice, that's why you need to get nice tomatoes. Then I'm using this for the garlic. I really want my garlic to be you know, squashed in there. I want the garlic to be broken into small pieces right there. Beautiful. Okay, we put the garlic in there. One little tip, a splash of water, just a little splash of water will stop the garlic to burn. Just a splash. So now stir, so we have the garlic everywhere. The reason why I'm using garlic is because the garlic really brings out the flavors of those beautiful tomatoes, okay? That's the only reason why. I don't think onion will do justice to those tomatoes. So now the tomatoes are in there and we're going to boil our pasta, okay? So to boil our pasta, we need to have boiling water, of course. We add one tablespoon of rock salt or sea salt or any salt that you have. And then we boil the pasta. The packet says to cook it for nine minutes. So now the pasta is cooking. We have about eight minutes left until the pasta is ready. So what we do now, we make love with the cherry tomatoes. Yeah, look how beautiful is that. Look at the juice that the cherry tomatoes are releasing. Look at that, this is what you want. Because the cherry tomato is nice and soft, we wanna press, just press on top of them. So you help the juice to get out faster. You will see that the skin comes off, the juice comes out. You know what that is? That is love. That is happiness. That is happiness that is about to go into your belly. Oh yeah. At the moment that we have the beautiful juice, we're going to add salt and pepper. We have two minutes left with the pasta. So we're gonna get a nice half mug of pasta water and we're gonna put it in this mix. The pasta water is full of starch. The starch will help us to combine all the ingredients. So let's put the water in there, not all of it, just put half of what you got, okay? Now we keep stirring. We are now going to add fresh basil. I love basil. What we do with the basil, we wanna break it with our hands, you know? We don't want the basil 
to be chopped because if you chop the basil on the chopping board you're releasing all the flavors on the chopping board we don't want that we want to enjoy the basil okay you can actually put the old leaf in there if you want now the basil is really bringing out the flavors oh they are making love together right now i can tell i can smell it i can feel it well no i can't really feel them making love but i can feel the passion in between these beautiful ingredients basil and tomatoes they love each other they need each other see that see that pasta water that i place in this pan now is helping to release even more juice from this beautiful cherry tomatoes see it's ready see the water there is disappearing we don't want the juice to disappear we don't want the juice to evaporate we don't want that we want to enjoy that you know so our pasta is ready so make sure you do have your pasta water here in a mug the pasta is nice ready al dente and now we're gonna put it in there we mix it we are going to mix the ingredients now together we want them to make love together now we're adding the ingredient that i wanted to add to make a twist to this beautiful napolitan recipe the mascarpone so how much mascarpone well you can use as much as you want you can be generous you can use really as much as you want i want to be generous i want this pasta to be creamy and i'm gonna use half of this so 125 grams we need to add a touch of pasta water on top of the cheese and now we mix we stir until the mascarpone melts now probably you're asking yourself oh maybe i can use philadelphia cheese yeah no don't see why not i don't see why not i just believe mascarpone is a special flavor it is gonna make this pasta more unique and it will still allow the cherry tomato to be the king of this dish you know and look how creamy it is now see how creamy it is see how beautiful this is see it's becoming like a pink sauce it's a beautiful pink sauce look at that look how beautiful and creamy at this point we switch off the pan and we are turning this into a little bit of cacio pepe the pecorino we put the pecorino in there and this is going to make it extra extra creamy you want to use parmigiano feel free to use the parmigiano i chose the pecorino because we always have pecorino in our fridge so look at that look at this marvelous creation look at this look how creamy look at that look at that now guys we need to add more basil why because the basil smells so good the basil is gonna make this pasta even more delicious the more basil the better put more fresh basil and guys tomatoes and extra virgin olive oil love each other so i'm gonna put some raw extra virgin olive oil which i don't want to cook right there just believe this is a tomato salad you know that's what i want to do i want to give you that flavor of that tomato salad that you love to eat this is a beautiful pasta with tomatoes basil garlic simplicity the mascarpone which is right there but you don't know that it's there if you are eating this and you don't know about the mascarpone you don't know but you get a beautiful creamy creamy taste in your mouth the beautiful consistency here it is let's serve it and let's eat it this is the best time of the recipe eating time you know this is a 10 minutes meal easy for you to do a weeknight weekend midnight pasta you decide when to have it let's see if it's nice it's nice and creamy, I can tell. Very nice and creamy. The beautiful mascarpone, the pecorino cheese, make it creamy. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Moist pasta. I can taste the tomato, which is the king of the recipe. The pasta is so silky. This is the reason why you need to mix your pasta with your ingredients. Just don't do like Gordon Ramsay, that it doesn't mix the pasta with the ingredients. You must do this. Look how silky this pasta is. Look how colorful, full of flavors. This is the experience that you deserve. This is the experience that you need to bring into your belly. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. What are you waiting for, guys? Just subscribe, write a comment below and make it. Make this pasta. Thank you so much for watching this episode. 
We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Mmm, I love mascarpone. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.